Solving an equation. We know that in an equation, alphabets stand for an unknown number. To solve an equation means finding the value of this unknown number. When we put this value in place of the variable, it makes the equation true. For example, if we put the value 2 in place of x, we get 2 plus 5 is equal to 7, which is a true statement. On the other hand, if we put the value 4 in place of x, we get 4 plus 5 is 9 is equal to 7, which is not a true statement. This means x is equal to 2 is the solution of the equation x plus 5 equal to 7. Transposition method Let us consider the equation x plus 5 is equal to 9. Before we apply the transposition method, we need to understand few important points of this method. Look at this equation. We need this x on this side and get rid of this 5. This 5, as we can see, is added to in this side. The first important point of this method is, whenever a term is added to one side, we can transpose it to the other side by subtracting it. In this equation, 5 is added to this side. So, when we transpose it, it gets subtracted to the other side. We can write the equation as x is equal to 9 minus 5. So, this plus 5 which was on the left hand side when transposed gets subtracted on the right hand side. These two equations are the same written in different ways. The next important point of this method is whenever a term is subtracted in one side we can transpose it to other by adding it. For example, if y minus 2 is equal to 8, then this minus 2, which is present on the left hand side when transposed, gets added to the right hand side. And thus, y is equal to 10. Remember, when a term gets transposed from one side to other side, Addition becomes subtraction and subtraction becomes addition. The transposition method similarly holds true for multiplication and division. As multiplication and division are inverse to each other. Therefore, if there is a term multiplied at one side, when transposed gets divided to the other side. Similarly, if there is a term divided at one side, when transposed gets multiplied to the other side. For example, let us consider this equation 3y is equal to 21. Since we want only the variable y on the left side, we see that 3 is multiplied to y. When we transfer or transpose this 3, to the right side, it gets divided. Thus, we get y is equal to 7. Consider another equation. y divided by 5 equal to 15. Since we want only the variable y on the left side, we see that 5 is divided by y. When we transfer or transpose this 5 to the right side, it gets multiplied. Thus, we get y is equal to 75. We see that in this equation, there are two terms with variables and two constants. We will collect all the variable terms on the left side and all the constants on the other side. Let us first collect all the variable terms on the left side. As we see here, this positive p is on the right side. When we transpose this plus p to the left side, it gets subtracted. Thus, we get 
फोर पी माइनस पी प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नेक्स्ट वी कलेक्ट द कॉन्स्टेंट ऑन द राइट साइड एज वी सी हियर दिस पॉजिटिव फाइव इज ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड When we transpose this plus five to the right side, it gets subtracted. Thus, we get four p minus p is equal to twenty minus five. Three p is equal to fifteen. We want to keep the variable p alone on the left side. Now, since three is multiplied with p on this side. When it gets transposed to the other side, it gets divided. Therefore, p is equal to fifteen divided by three, which is equal to five. P is equal to five. Solve the following equation: three x plus two plus six equals to twenty-seven. First, we will open the bracket. So. Three x plus six plus six is equal to twenty-seven. Three x plus twelve is equal to twenty-seven. Now keep the variable term on the left side and take the constants on the other side. Therefore, three x is equal to twenty-seven minus twelve. Three x is equal to fifteen. We want to keep the variable alone on the left side. Therefore, x is equal to fifteen divided by three, and so x is equal to three.